a flurry of strike action. But they weren't the only ones. Highway workers staying away from busy motorways. Royal Mail employees scaling back deliveries at their busiest time of year. And border force staff refusing to work until the year is out. That, however, has highlighted concerns. We've been told military personnel who've stepped in to assist at passport control do not have the power to detain people they suspect of criminal activity as passengers enter the UK. In a statement, the Home Office said non-striking border force staff with a full range of appropriate powers are continuing to complete their vital role and we have spread our resources flexibly to ensure there is sufficient cover to fulfil our key priorities. There will be enough people there um, who will know what to do if there is a potential problem. And these guys, okay, they, they haven't been given a huge amount of training, but again, they're only, going, they're only being used, or it's my understanding that they're only being used um, to deal with, with British citizens. There's no denying the strikes across all sectors in the days leading up to Christmas Eve have been disruptive. Lives put on hold, people changing plans at the last minute. But in the 24 hours leading up to the big day, the impact seems limited. Christmas is of course a time for coming together, but as it stands, there's no sign of reconciliation between unions and their opposite. We're available actually.